Uh, just uh, doing a little update on some of the projects I got going. I want y'all to look. I call this success. Uh, let's tune it up here to get out of the way, dog. Nobody wants to see you. They've all seen you already. Back off. Uh, let's put it up around the uh, MURS band. Everybody knows this. Uh, Yasu uh, 2800M is not supposed to transmit up there. But anyway, I am transmitting with a Yasu 2 meter radio on the MURS band. And if you look, I can go anywhere in the frequency range. Even where... Oh, there's somebody over there. Anyway. Damn, move. Anywhere. Anywhere. I don't want to go there. That's... That would be bad to transmit over there. So we won't transmit over there. But, um... Anyway. I call that little... Now this is my poo hitting the fan radio. I'll, after I get my ham license, I might use it for a little while, but then I want to get the um, one that has 400 megahertz and upwards too, so it's a dual band. And I'm going to hack it where it will go places no man is supposed to go. So uh, I'll take that one then and put it in a little steel box and put it under the house and that will be the poo hit the fan radio actually you need two of them so I'll probably stick these in there and maybe one day get a get another one and um, use it and you know get one that's not modified to play with and keep the two modified ones in the little steel can for that special day so folks anyway uh, I'm gonna cut this off and I'll be back in a minute in the garage show you another project we're working on this is the second project working on here this is an ozone generator that's it working right there if I turn the lights on you wouldn't be able to see it but it is actually putting out ozone actually it's purple in color this camera's picking it up as a blue for some reason or another and uh, this thing, when it warms up, that whole thing, that whole plate, will turn color. And believe me, it puts out the ozone. This puts out 3,600 cubic centimeters per hour, something like that. Well, however they measure it, that's what it puts out. And uh, you can see it's a kit. So, you know, for something like that, you buy one commercially in a box and everything you're talking you know four three to four hundred dollars you get it this way you're about seventy bucks anyway I'm gonna build a wooden box and um, you can see it's starting to warm up there uh, I'm gonna build a wooden box and make like a wind tunnel for it and try to get a bigger transformer where I can run maybe three or four of those plates where I can super saturate an area with ozone, like uh, go in there and close off a room, or you know, uh, I close off a room and uh, put blankets under the door so no air can escape, and put that thing in there and let it run for about four or five, maybe six hours, and it, it'll just give it like a shock treatment. It'll almost uh, be like sterilizing the whole room. Uh, great thing for bathrooms. I mean, if you put it in the bathroom and you could put it on a timer at night or something, you know, so uh, uh, let's say let's say you go to bed, you close, you make sure, you have to make sure the door to the bathroom is closed, but you put it in your bathroom and it runs for six or seven hours. Uh, one thing I definitely noticed when I did it in my bathroom is my towels, even the ones uh, the I use on the dogs, smelt like I just washed them you know I noticed it on my towel and then I checked the other towels and after being in that night in that room with that ozone uh, 
them towels smell like you know uh, downy rainwater fresh uh, clean towels uh, the next day so you know I don't recommend breathing this ozone you know I wouldn't be in the room with it that strong I mean if you want odor control this one unit uh, if you put it by your return air of a furnace or something uh, would be all you need for just basic odor control uh, I would not put this this powerful of a unit in one room and close it off because that would be harmful to your health. Uh, oh, and that is high voltage. That's uh, trying to remember 3,500 volts coming out of there. Uh, so this is not for mitten grabbing by non-expertine electronic geeko type people. Uh, even though it's not high amperage, it will knock your ass on the floor. So, um, you know, if anybody wants more information there, I'll put a link down there at the bottom where you can get this little kit. And maybe I won't. I'm not going to tell them. I want to call that guy up and ask him if I can if I cut him a deal. I might see if I can get some kind of coupon code or something where he knows people's coming for my video to see this. <laughs> And then I'll work out a deal so I can get an extra one or two of these for my project and where I can build them. I know that I know that's being an ass, but hey, I'm poor too, folks. I got to do what I can. But anyway, uh, the ozone does work. My next project, I'm going to try this when I find the intake to the clothes dryer. I want to put it by where the clothes dryer sucks the air in since this works so good in the bathroom. I want to put it right next to the air intake and uh, not use no fabric softener or nothing and see how that works but that's just two of my projects i got the radio going uh this thing is working i am testing it on different areas and different uh uses work and by the way it doesn't pull hardly any power it's like oh gosh uh, less than a, less than a night light you know two or three watts of power so it, it's very very low power consumption on this thing but uh that's my ozone generator and the ham radio update.